Today, I've been given the task to talk to you about Google Tasks. Google Tasks is Google's way of giving us a checklist, a to-do list for, well, everything. The great part is, is that it embeds itself with Gmail and also Google Calendar. And I'm gonna show you how to use both of them with Google Tasks right now. So to start off, I'm gonna open up my Google Calendar and I picked a week that was completely blank so that you can see how this integrates and pops up really quickly and easily. What I want you to focus on is the right taskbar. And you can see here, we've got a couple of different things along with Google Keep and Maps, but you'll see that Google Tasks is this circular blue icon that's there. And if you click it, we get tasks that pop open. Now, I already have some tasks in my task tray, but I'm gonna go over how we can create tasks. There's a couple of different ways. The first way is if you open up the app that opens up that right sidebar, you can simply click where it says in blue, add a task. And if I click it, it's going to give me this little window here to give a title, to give details for this task, and then to add a date and also a time. And adding a date and a time is really nice because it will help us with the order of our to-do list if you wanna order it by date and time. If you don't put a date and a time, that's fine. It'll keep it in the order that you create it. A second way in order to create a task inside of Calendar, if I didn't open up this app from the right toolbar, is to click the Create button with the colorful plus sign or just click on a date and time that you want the task to be created. So if I click, I now get my card where I can go ahead and create, which we typically create an event for our calendar. But if you look at the top here, you'll see task is one of the options. If you click on that, you can now create a task. And this will automatically go into our tasks, into the task app. So I'm going to say make task video. I'm gonna give it the date that is here, the time that is here, and I can add a description if I want. And then I have the option of picking which task list I want it to go to. I have one that's called my in tray, so I'm gonna have it go there, but I have a drop down menu with different schools and different lists if I wanted to move it to that particular list. So I'm gonna click save and now it's there. Let's go over to that icon and let's take a look if it showed up and there it is. Make task video, we wanna to finish today and it gives the date. So there's the two ways that you can create tasks from Google Calendar. Let's now look at Gmail and see how we can create tasks and even take emails and put the entire email into a task for us to get to at a later date. So here's my Gmail account you'll see that taskbar on the right side is exactly the same. There may be one or two other options on your taskbar that you may have put on that work with Google Calendar, but you'll see that Google Tasks is still there. And if I click it, my tasks pop up from the right side. In order to make a task, we could go ahead and do the exact same thing we did in Google Calendar and click that blue add a task link at the top. But a different way of doing it, in order to create a task from an email, all I'm going to do is go to the email itself. I don't even have to open it. I can go ahead and just hover over the email that I want. I can right click it and from this list, you will see add to tasks. When I do that, it now gives the title of the email as a possible task title. I can change that if I want. I can give details and my date and time right here as well. Click OK. You may have noticed that it has the option to repeat the task if you want in the date and time. And if you did wanna go ahead and repeat something for whatever reason, you can pick the number of every time you want it repeated, and then you can change it by day, week, month, and year. Now let's talk about the different pieces of the taskbar itself. What you're gonna notice is that if you want that task list to be gone, you can just click the X in Google Calendar or Gmail, 
and it will take that whole list and move it to the side toolbar so it's nice and small on the right hand side of your screen once again. I'm going to open it back up by clicking it. You have different trays that you can create and I'm just clicking the drop down menu and you can see that I have three of them. You can reorder them by clicking those six dots and moving them in whatever position that you want. And then you can also create a new list by clicking create new list and then go ahead and give it a title. If you want to change the name of one of your lists that you have for your tasks, what I found is instead of adding a task, you're going to click the three dots, the snowman, just to the right of it, and then you'll see a whole bunch of different things come up. You'll see keyboard shortcuts, which I'm not going to go over. You can see copy reminders to tasks, Google reminders. If you want to move those over to tasks, you can do that as well, which I'm not going to go over. But you'll see that you can rename your lists. So if we click on that, you can go ahead and rename the list that you're currently on. I'm on my in tray and I can give it a different name if I want. So that's how you rename a list. If I click those dots again, you'll see two different orders. You'll see my order, which is great because you just left click and drag it to the spot that you want and that will create your order. Or what I really like too, and watch, it will give you the actual dates too. If you click those three dots and click by date, you'll see that it will go ahead and order your list by due date that you've given to the actual task. And so as we go down today, tomorrow, and then the future, and then at the very bottom, there'll be no date at all. And this is true for Google Calendar as well. If we sort these by date, it goes ahead and creates them all right there in the order of our due date. Now, how can we go ahead and use this to our advantage as a student in school? Well, the first idea that I have is go ahead and create a bunch of different lists by maybe your subjects. If you're getting emails from math, science, social studies, ELA, whatever classes you're taking, you want to make sure that not only do you have dates and times of tests or assignments on your list, but you also want to make sure that any email that a professor or a teacher sends you, you want to make sure that those emails get on a list so you know that that's something that has to be done. And then you're going to be able to organize yourself really, really well by switching in between those different subjects and the different assignments that come in and just making sure that you're putting them into the correct categories. If I created a new list that was called math class, you can see that math class has nothing in it. And let's pretend that I got an email that I wanted to go ahead and put into my math class because that was something that needed to get done. I would right click on that email, I would add to task, and then I have the option of doing my title, my details, my date, and my time. And what you'll notice, I don't know if I said it before, but the actual email itself is connected to the task. And so if you clicked on it, it would open up and you would be able to remember, oh yeah, this is what I had to do. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this provided some value for you. I will see you in the next video.